This is Struggling to Succeed. In this episode, we'll be discussing Seth Godin's book, Lynchpin. You are a genius. Those are the first four words in Seth Godin's book, Lynchpin. I recently read this book for the first time, and I've come to think of it now as a manual for the worker of today. I think this book has got some fantastic tips, techniques, ideas, strategies, a different way of thinking, and it has left a profound influence on my thinking. And I've come to think of my own working journey, my own career, slightly differently because of the words inside this book. In this book, Seth reminds us that there is an artist and a genius inside all of us. A person wanting to create a difference, stand up for something, and create massive value in their lives. In my Struggling to Succeed journey, I really love this book by Seth Godin. I think it is a, a manual for how people should be showing up at work today. If you want to get on those special teams and those projects at work, if you want to be known as somebody who's different, if you want to move up the chain, if you want to start your own business, whatever you want to do in your career, th thinking about Seth Godin's book and thinking about adding extra value and looking at ways that you can leverage your personality and leverage your inspiration and leverage new ideas to get you to where you want to be. This book has got a, a bit of a guide and it is a bit of an explanation of how the system is broken and how the system works now in this modern day. In this modern day, there is an opportunity for people to move very quickly uh, up organizations if they show independent thought and bring a lot of passion and value to work. And that's what I love about this book. It kind of explains what you need to be doing to get noticed. If you're punching in and punching out at work and you're a little bit annoyed that you're not really getting anywhere and maybe a couple of people around you have got promotions and you're still in the same job and you're starting to resent what you're doing, reading this book will change the way you think about your job. I honestly believe it is a guide to how we should be showing up as workers in this modern day system. We don't have the, the luxury of being able to have one job for life that maybe our parents and a few generations ago had. It is a new world with more and more people getting jammed into a busier and busier workspace. So you need to stand out. And to stand out, you need to be different. And to be different, you need to show up as yourself when you come to work. You need to add value, to bring new ideas and new projects with you and do the work outside of the normal stream. That's my takeaway. If everybody else is on the normal stream, just working that line, the way to move up and around that is to work outside of it. Step outside the stream, get out of that bring extra projects, bring extra inspiration, do things you're not even asked to do. Find out somebody, find out a problem that somebody above you has. Find out the hot topic in your organization. All organizations grow and go through change constantly. Any organization that's, that's, that's gonna survive over the next five or 10 years, 20 years, is going to go through change. Find out what the hot topic is in your organization and create value for that change. That's what this book, Lynchpin, is all about. Be a linchpin. Create value. Be somebody that managers and owners will look at as somebody's key to their teams. Not somebody who just turns up every day, punches their card in, sits at their desk, and goes home at five. That's not a life. And that's not a way to show up every day. This episode has been less of a review about this book by Seth Godin and more of my feelings and thoughts and the ideas that I got from the book, the ideas that I was able to pin together by possibly reading some other books and other thought patterns that were going through my mind. But this was the right book at the right time for me because I, I work in a large corporation, large corporation and I'm also working on side projects outside of that. And the idea of bringing 
new projects, I'm doing extra work, is something that I've been tapping into over the last uh, four or five years since starting my struggling to succeed journey. And I have noticed in the last couple of organizations that I've worked in, I have actually moved up through a number of positions quite quickly. And I've never really been able to pin down what it was that I was doing uh, that was helping me be promoted and helping me get on special teams and helping me move forward in my career. And this book basically told me what I was doing. Now, I haven't shot up the organizational chart like a, a hockey stick, sort of boom, I'm not like a CEO or anything or anybody important. However, I have found that by bringing extra value to my uh, respective uh, jobs over the last number of years in, in the different organizations that I've been with, I have found uh, myself in conversations and in rooms with top leaders and with people who are two or three steps above me in that organization and having them speaking to me at the same level and asking me for my input and ideas, which never would have happened if I hadn't have brought myself and my passion and my willingness to learn on the outside of work and bring those ideas into work and work with people around me in trying to improve not only my workflow and not only my day, but improve the day of the people around us. That's what a linchpin, I think, does. They're there to improve things for themselves and they're to improve the day and the job and the processes for all of those people around them. That's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along and get lots more content on my struggling to succeed journey. My mission here is to deliver bite-sized videos that can hopefully inspire you to start your journey of success. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. And as always, make it a good one.